So I get a lot, and I mean a lot of questions in the comments on my videos and on my stream about how I make the Persona that I do. So today, let's talk about making Persona and Persona 5 Royal. Before we get into the video, I do just want to remind you that I stream most days over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash rosalindgaming. You can find a link in the video description below. I'll also put a link to a playlist containing all of my Persona 5 Royal content in case you want to check that out as well. Honestly, Persona 5 Royal makes it fairly easy to make really good Persona, as long fusion chains to pass down specific abilities really isn't necessary anymore, assuming you don't mind a little bit of save scumming. What can still be confusing, however, is passing around specific Persona traits. To showcase how one might do this to build a good in-game Persona, I'm going to walk you through the process of building this bad boy. Now you have to excuse me for using the Japanese version of the game. While I do currently own an English version thanks to a very generous viewer, I'm only still playing through it, so I'll be using the Japanese version to showcase this. That said, I will be translating each of the skills and whatnot that are important for this demonstration, for which we'll be making this Dai Sojo that has Alice's Persona trait. For those that don't know, Alice's Persona trait lowers the cost of instant death abilities to zero, and this works on blessed ones as well. For this build, I wanted to make a Dai Sojo that could cast Samsara for free, but that could also be a competent blessed damage dealer as well. And to that end, I have given him Samsara, Kogaon, Hama Boost, Bless Boost, and Bless Amp. Repel Physical, Repel Curse, and Alley Dance are there to provide a bit of extra defense, but can be changed for whatever else. The most important thing for this build is getting Alice's Persona trait onto Dai Sojo. To effectively do this, you need to understand the fusion table and how it works. Or you can simply use an online resource that tells you all the possible fusion combinations, as well as reverse fusion combinations. Since an online resource is better for this, that's what we're going to go with. You can find a link to one that I often use in the video description. It's a pretty good resource for helping you figure out fusion recipes, but be warned that it still has a number of mistakes with regards to skill descriptions and skill lists for Persona in general. Anyways, we need to get Alice's trait onto Dai Sojo, and to do that we need to do some reverse fusions. First, start with Alice and fuse her with Moloch. Doing so will result in a Sandal phone. At this stage, if your Alice has any skills you want on Dai Sojo, such as Alley Dance like mine, pass them down as well. Just make sure that you pass down her Persona trait. Now you can take the Sandal phone and continue fusing it away, but it learns Repel Curse at 78, so if you don't get it to 78 from experience gained through fusion, go ahead and level it up a bit. Once done, fuse it with a Mandrake and pass on Alice's trait and any skills you want and you have yourself a Dai Sojo that can cast Samsara for free. To get the rest of the skills, such as Kogaon, Bless Amp, Hama Boost, and whatnot, you can use skill cards or the electric chair. I personally used a skill card for Kogaon, which you can get by turning Anubis into a skill card while under a fusion alarm. You can get Hama Boost by sacrificing Persona such as Dominion or Metatron until it passes on. Same thing for Bless Amp. If the skill you want doesn't pass down, just reload the game and do it again until it does. After you've passed down the skills you want, you can easily level up your Dai Sojo by abusing Chihaya's confidant abilities. Friendly reminder, Chihaya is really, really useful in this game. Assuming she's rank 8, have her trigger a fusion alarm and then head into Mementos. Sacrifice a persona to Dai Sojo to get experience, register him to the compendium, get rid of him, and then pull him back out. Leave the Velvet Room, go to the first floor of Mementos, run around using Ryuji's insta-kill until an alarm happens, and repeat the process until he's level 99. If Dai Sojo is already level 99 and you just want to max out his stats, skip the part about registering him to the Compendium and getting rid of him, and just continue sacrificing Persona to him while under a fusion alert until his stats are maxed out. And that's really it. Building good Persona in Persona 5 Royal is really just more a exercise in patience more than anything. Still, I hope this video was helpful to you and you got something out of it. As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Alternatively, you can catch me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash rosalindgaming, or on my Discord server, to which I will leave a link to in the video description. Yes, I know, I was slow setting one of those up. And finally, if you did find this video helpful, please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time, take care.